Hey guys, Richard Price here with Hitech Battery. Today we're going to be taking a look at the NOCO Genius 10 Series Battery Charger. Uh, this was just released about two months ago from NOCO, and it is the predecessor of the G7200 series. Uh, so the Genius 10, this is what comes in the box. Uh, they have the newer redesigned uh, battery clamps, which we're big fans of. Uh, and they also have a wall mount option for this as well that comes standard in the box. Um, the Genius 10 uh, is 3.3 pounds, so just shy of 3.5. Charges up to 230 amp hour batteries. It's both a 12 and 6 volt charger that does 10 amps in both 12 and 6 volt mode. Um, you know, normally with the older series, the 6 volt does cut that charge rate in half, but you do retain the 10 amp hour charge rate with the new Genius 10 series. It's capable of charging flooded AGM, lithium, gel, calcium, uh, and enhanced flooded batteries. Um, some of the actual benefits of this charger are going to be the advanced battery diagnostics, which we'll dive into a little bit here. Um, the built-in supply mode, uh, auto desulfation, thermal compensation, which dynamically alters the charging current based on the ambient temperature the charger can sense, uh, as well as a handful of other uh, abilities here. So first we're going to go into um, basically the actual uh, button and the charge indicators here and what they mean. That's part of the advanced battery diagnostics. Uh, and then we'll move on to actually using the charger, put it on charge, and, and actually see what it looks like when it's working. The NOCO Genius 10 battery diagnostics are a little bit more advanced than what we normally see with a lot of the smart chargers out in the market, which is, has us pretty, pretty impressed. Um, so the first one here is going to be a high voltage battery above protective voltage. Um, you have either a BMS system malfunction or a battery with an open cell where the voltage is just on a straight runaway. The charge will detect that and shut down before any catastrophe could happen. Um, the next one is battery will not charge, bulk charge timeout. Uh, what this means is the battery itself is just not able to re actually retain the charge. It's in bulk charge, too long for the charger, uh, and after a predetermined amount of time, the charge will actually shut down and air out with this, letting you know that the battery is not able to hold capacity. And the third one here, uh, basically a reverse polarity error. And that just means you have the charger hooked up backwards. You need to switch it positive and negative. And the last one here is the power button. If you're stuck in this power mode and you're not able to actually get outside of it by hitting the mode button, that indicates your battery is below the one volt threshold. So when that happens, you'd hold down the actual mode button for five seconds and that will initiate what's called the force mode. And this will actually turn the charger on regardless of, of the voltage of the battery for five minutes and put about 10 amps in there for five minutes to artificially raise the voltage level so you can hopefully select one of those uh, 12 volt or six volt settings. And then the only mode that's actually not shown in the diagram is the temperature mode. And basically what that is, is the first three lights there will blink together in rapid succession. That'll let you know the voltage um, or the temperature either inside of the charger or the ambient temperature is too high or too low. So too hot or too cold. Uh, and that covers the actual battery diagnostics for the Genius 10. So now we're going to move on to actually using it. All right, so we got our NOCO Genius 10 hooked up. Uh, it's hooked up to a DECA, a 12-volt sealed AGM motorcycle battery for the moment. Um, so I'm just going to cycle through some of the settings here, explain what they do, and we'll take a look. It's got one button on it. It's a mode button, and it's pretty stiff. Um, so when you first open up the charger and get out of the box, you're just going to have it in the, the power mode. Um, which is a general setting without any of the actual modes selected. So to begin the process, you're going to hit the mode button once. That's going to bring you over into the standard 12-volt mode. Uh, the 12-volt mode is going to be meant for wet cell, gel cell, enhanced flooded, and calcium-based batteries. So even your gel cells are going to go on this standard setting. Um, the next is going to be the 12-volt AGM mode. Uh, this mode is going to be used for AGM and AGM Plus batteries, um, which would be your Optima, your North Star, your high-performance 99.9% .9 pure lead batteries. Um, so that would be covered in your AGM series. Uh, and next over is going to be your 12 volt lithium. Now, lithium uh, is still going to charge the 10 amps. It's going to be lithium ion batteries and lithium iron phosphate, uh, but they need to have battery management systems in them. This charger will only work uh, with lithium batteries that have a BMS system. If the battery does not have a battery management system, do not use any of the NOCO Genius products on it. That needs a specialized charger. Um, to get to the next tier, uh, you're basically going to hold down the mode button here for about three seconds. It'll bring you down to the next tier. I'm just going to shift over so we don't stay in the 6 volt because we're on a 12 volt battery. The next mode is the supply mode. Uh, the supply mode converts the power to a DC or the charger to a DC power supply for powering only 12 volt DC devices um, like tire inflators, 
oil charge oil changers uh, or like a memory retainer when you're looking to basically save the memory settings or keep power to a vehicle when you take the battery out there's actually a connector that noco sells for the obd setting um, and you can plug it right into the car itself uh, and then the last mode here it's going to be a repair mode i can't actually get to it without holding the button down the repair mode is an additional uh pretty much the most advanced mode that we use the most on the NOCO chargers. Uh, it's a battery recovery mode for repairing old batteries that are idle, damaged, stratified, or sulfated. Um, and it's been pretty much one of the flagships for the NOCO series for us. We've had very good luck bringing back extremely old or sulfated batteries, kind of rejuvenating them, getting that active material going again, bringing it back to life for another couple of years of service. Uh, so one other mode that we can't cover because I don't have a battery that's at zero volts, um, it is called force mode. And basically what that is, is if the, the battery is below one volt and the charger won't recognize it's hooked up to a battery, uh, in which case then you can actually force the charger to go into um, basically a blanket mode. And, and in that we call it force mode, it pushes a full 10 amps for five minutes into the battery and then it actually shuts down. So it artificially raises the voltage of the battery and then hopefully after that five minutes, you'll be able to actually kick the charger into one of these modes and it'll pick up from square one and hopefully progress through all the way to the fully charged. So that's the NOCO Genius 10 series. Um, I hope you guys found this pretty informational. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them at the bottom of the video. We're extremely responsive. Um, so again, Richard Price, High Tech Battery. Any questions, you can reach out to us. Uh, toll free at 1-877-775-4381 or drop us a comment below the video and we'll get back to you. Thanks. Bye-bye.